the ties between the Republic of Ghana and the Republic of, of Mauritius are premised on a long history of friendship, trust, and cooperation. Both Mauritius and Ghana operate on the principles of democracy and rule of law, a practice which has earned us the respect of one and all. Both our countries believe strongly in South-South cooperation, and we are fervent supporters of closer economic links amongst developing countries. Both nations are committed to realize the dream of African unity and prosperity by striving to bring our people closer and by building the necessary conditions to create growth and wealth. The recent signature of the Memorandum of Understanding between Mauritius and Ghana for the setting up of a technology park in Accra, Ghana, is also another landmark in our cooperation. We had, during the last hour, a very successful and productive working session during which important bilateral, regional, and international issues of mutual interest and relevance were raised in a cordial and friendly atmosphere reflective of the special relationship between our two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to announce that today we have signed an agreement on mutual visa exemption, which provides for the waiving of visa requirements for diplomatic and service passport holders and for Mauritian nationals holding ordinary passports wishing to travel to Ghana for a period not exceeding 90 days. This will be instrumental in improving interconnectivity and the movement of people between our two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by saying that I am confident that we will continue to work together for the promotion of peace and security in the region and in the world. My visit to Mauritius begins a process that will crown uh, years of collaboration and discussions at the highest level towards strengthening bilateral trade and political cooperation between our two countries. From our discussions today, shortly upon our arrival with Her Excellency, the President, and the just concluded discussions with Mr. Prime Minister, it is evident that uh, a number of mutually beneficial opportunities for our two countries and for our business people. Your Excellency, my visit is a follow-up to the signing of the General Cooperation Agreement and the Agreement for the Establishment of a Permanent Joint Commission for Cooperation in 2014. On my delegation are senior government officials and private sector participants who would be taking part in a business forum tomorrow. And this is indicative of our desire to transform our relationship into partnerships for promoting private sector engagement and commercial joint ventures. Only last week, the chairman of the Board of Investments of Mauritius led another delegation to Accra to finalize various rounds of discussion and also express interest in new areas of cooperation. Your Excellency, these visits have given us an opportunity to establish a framework for engagement and for exploring further the possibilities of col collaboration between our two countries. We should out of these visits and the successful signing of the, this afternoon's agreements see investment and partnerships in the agricultural sector, especially in sugarcane and sugar production, in textiles, in financial services, and information and communication technology. This afternoon, we have signed significant agreements, one on mutual visa exemptions that would allow our people to travel freely between our two countries. 
we signed agreements for collaboration between the Ghana Standards Board and the Mauritian Standards Authority, and also for collaboration in education. From Ghana, we've seen the successful entry into the education sector of Mauritius by a Ghanaian investor and academic with the establishment of a private university named the African Leadership Academy here in Mauritius. One of the major highlights of my visit and discussions this afternoon would be to seek the approval by your government for an investment of about 250 million uh, US dollars through the Mauritius Board of Investment in a partnership with the government of Ghana to establish a business information and communications technology enclave in Tema, Ghana. This is a project that will create in excess of 5,000 direct jobs for young graduates and provide many thousands of indirect job opportunities and will serve as a hub for business and information communication in the West African sub-region. I look forward eagerly to the remaining two days of this state visit. Mr. Prime Minister, I thank you once again for your wonderful hospitality and to express our good wishes to the people of Mauritius. Thank you very much.